day. Today we're going to talk about upper body, posture, arms, and floreadas, okay? So for, for right now, I want you to think about softening your knees just a little bit, bringing your pelvis forward, so no sway back, bring your pelvis forward. Imagine having a girdle, you have a girdle or a corset on that's nice and engaged your abdominals, you're going to roll your shoulders back and pretend that you have a medallion, necklace that you just want to show off to the world and that is the posture I want you to keep for the time we have together and pretty much any choreography that you're learning from me, unless I say otherwise. So let's go into some basic arm movements. This is a first position. Imagine having water roll down your arms. It's, um, there's no broken elbows, keep it nice and lifted. And I think about having my hands in front of my navel. I'm gonna go out to second position. It's the same thing. I'm gonna keep my shoulders engaged and down. So they're not gonna come up to the ears. They're gonna stay down and the elbows are lifted, palms facing forward. Now I'm gonna bring my arms up and you might notice that I really pull my elbows back. I don't have them forward. So it really does stretch out the, begin the front of your chest. So let's go back down to first position. Engage your abdominals, soften your knees, open to second position and arms above head. Let's do that again. When you uh, bring your arms above your head, you might notice that you want to sway your back. Really keep, keep those hips forward and uh, abdominals engaged. Back to first position, open to second. Keep those elbows lifted, shoulders relaxed, down and up. Okay, great. So now we have some basic arm positions. Now we're going to talk about floreada. You're going to start with your pinky and rotate in. Now as you're rotating your hands in, it's as if you're doing full circles with your wrist and then my fingers are just an extension of that. I begin with my pinky, coming in toward the body and the elbows remain nice and lifted. So you're still in that first position, they're not dropping, you're staying nice and lifted. Good, let's do five more. Five, four, three, one. Good, now let's go ahead and rotate away from the body. So you're gonna begin with the pinky. Away, two, three, four. Let's do five more. Five, four, Three, two, one. Go ahead and open to second position. I'm gonna rotate into first, open to second, and I'm gonna rotate the wrist away from the body. So, first and in, second and away. One, two, three, four. music in the background it's a little bit faster one two three four out in out in out in out in away in good now let's go ahead and come up above our head. Remember, we're gonna put, pull those elbows back, pelvis forward, abdominals engaged. This is one of my favorites. So I'm going in, 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 in. Now let's try away. Push away, out. Out, 
Excellent. So if I'm facing the mirror, I can step my right foot forward, pull that right shoulder back and away from the body is a floreada. Come in and it's okay if they cross a little. Same thing with the left foot. Out and I'm pulling the shoulder back. It goes away. Good. So let's do that again. Arms above head. All of this is nice and engaged, nice and lifted. We're gonna step forward with our right foot, just on the ball of the foot, okay? Your weight is still on the back left leg. And I'm gonna pull that right shoulder forward, back, and floreada away from the body. And then I cross it. Now the left foot goes forward, left shoulder goes back. Floreada away from the body, and in. Out, in, out, in, out, in, out, and in, again, away, and in, away, and in. Away and in, away and in. We're going to bring our right arm out to second and all the way down. I'm going to cross it. I'm going to, instead of keeping it center, I'm going to cross it. I'm going to cross it all the way across my body. I have really long arms. So you find what works for you and it's gonna come up to center. So the same thing with the left arm, all the way down. Keep that wrist connected. In other words, don't break the wrist. Keep it nice and lengthened. It's the extension of the arm, nice and lengthened. So we're going open and up through center, open and up through center. I'm gonna face the body and mirror you. So this would be my left arm. And I'm gonna open up and I'm gonna push the palm, push away. So this is the beginning of the floreada. I'm pushing away, away, away. And then I rotate in as I come up. Let's do that again. Four times on the left side. One, two, three, Four. So I push away, and as I come up through center, I rotate inward. Again, away, both hands inward. So you might want to drop the elbow here. Don't drop it. Keep it nice and lifted as you come up through center. Away. And keep that elbow lifted as you come up through center. Two more times, away, up through center. Last one, away, and up through center. Other side, away. I'm mirroring you, so it's my right arm that comes down. Away, push away from the body, and up through center, keeping that elbow nice and lifted. This is a great arm workout. I don't know how many times I've been asked if I weight train, and I do not. I dance flamenco, I do some yoga, I stretch. So you don't need weights to add definition to your body. So away, you start with that pinky, keeping that elbow nice and lifted. Let's do that three more times. Three, and up, two, and up, last one, and up. Let's go ahead and bring those arms down. So this is also something I like to do, so we're going to bring those arms up above the head and open. I call this take off your sweater, take off your jacket comes in through the body, elbows nice and lifted, 
as it comes up and open. Always as if you're moving through mud or water, really feeling that resistance. And we can reverse. Open up. Good. Let's open up again and come in through center. Open up again, come in through center, last one, and in through center. These are some great fundamentals to have as you progress with the flamenco vocabulary.